This, this is the, the Gauss project coming along here. And then on top, we've got you, or in your case, me. Um, which is, this is your own personal arc. Like, what, what is your involvement? What, what, how are you growing from this project? What are you getting from it? Other, other than it being a use of time and money and, and all you know, that kind of thing. What is it you're getting? And then down here, we have the organization, and whether that's infrared organization or the organization of you know, the, the broader Gauss project organization, if there's more than you know, one, if this is the initial milestone or the initial release. Do we have an organization? But what is the what is the broader organization? You might also think of the world here as the world is an even broader organization. We're like, how are we intending to change the world with this project? How how will how will somebody over there, how will their life be different once we have we have finished it? So what's the arc for the world that we are being a part of with this small story arc? And then how does how does our own personal story arc fit into that? So, I mean, these are, these are the questions to consider. But also, if we can kind of talk about these with each other, then when we get to see how, how, one dis how a, a decision for the project affects decisions individually. You know, if, if I'm invested in using XML, and then we say, oh, actually, you know, XML is kind of old school, it's inefficient, it's hard to parse, it's, you know, it's got too many standards, whatever, we're going to use JSON instead. That might affect my own motivation for this. Maybe I need to, but it's, I'm not, it's, it's not that we have to solve everyone's thing, but it actually worth saying about that. Oh, yeah, that sounds cool. I'm a bit disappointed personally because I was kind of all invested in learning the latest XML. But I'd be like, okay, well, guess what? Jason's also cool. There's stuff to learn there. So that sort of thing. So that's, does that make story arcs clear as a, yeah. as a concept? I was kind of a bit of a digression. So the hero's journey, um, there was a guy called Joseph Campbell, and he did a lot of research in um, stories from all around the world, from mythologies, from, from legends, uh, and then also applying the same thing, looking at um, more recent stories, <coughs> things like movies, and then later on looking at things like uh, you know, Star Wars, the movie Titanic, the movie The Hangover, actually. Uh, all sorts of different movies, um, and from looking at all these stories and movies and legends and fairy tales and, 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 and works of literature, um, he found that there is a, a, a pattern that goes around it, and this pattern he called the monomyth, it's like the myth that is actually, there is one myth and we have various instantiations of that myth for different stories, so there are things they have in common. And what's in common about the stories we tell is that it's about um, an epic battle between two polarities. It's an epic battle between good and evil, perhaps, or the epic battle to go and retrieve something, to, to, to find some, some knowledge or produce something. And it's not just a matter of going, okay, I want that, go to the shop, buy it, and come back. There's actually a journey to go on and various things that happen. And, um, I've spent the last uh, couple of months talking with an experienced project manager, and I've experienced some different things as well. We've shared our experience. We're like, oh wow, you know, a lot of this has, has a parallel there, and a lot of the things we wish people would talk about and reveal about projects and expect about projects follows that kind of a pattern. So let's try applying this hero's journey stuff, the mining myth stuff, to software projects and see whether it helps. So that's, that's basically it. So I'm going to talk about what's in the hero's journey. Because you can read that book, or, or an even bigger book by, by Joseph Campbell. <coughs> um, but actually on YouTube, I'm going to show you what it's like. There's a good Wikipedia article on it as well, which is pretty brief as well, I've seen it. Um, so what happens is we, we have... We have, we have our home. 